These are the miniature masterpieces of the Franklin Mint. Although they've been building scale model replicas of the world's finest automobiles for a relatively short time, they have attained worldwide recognition as the creators of truly superbly detailed miniatures. Located in suburban Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, we thought we'd go behind the scenes at the Franklin Mint and find out why their dazzling assortment of scale models boasted such intricate and painstaking detail. We compile a list. Mark Denise, Director of Design and Engineering at the Franklin Mint, explains the selection process in deciding which cars will be miniaturized. Firstly, the car that we pick usually has uh, some historical significance that's very important for us. Our motto at Franklin Mint Precision Models is keeping automotive history alive. So uh, a good manufacturing history, uh, some racing history, something that has some historical significance is important in choosing the car. After a car is decided on, such as the Lamborghini Countach, a comprehensive photo session is the next step, and exact dimensions of the vehicle are carefully measured, which is crucial in maintaining accurate scaled-down dimensions during the manufacturing process. From there, the photographs and additional sketches, if any, are sent to the computer-aided design department. This program, for a 1930s classic, converts the pictures and drawings into a computer diagram, showing every part to be used on the model. Jim Allard, program manager at the Franklin Mint, picks it up from there. The body shape model starts as a solid block of acetate. The block is uh, carved away uh, by comparing it to our six view drawings. Every bit of material that's not a part of the car is removed and then subtle, subtle curves are put in. Uh, the edges of the doors, the, the line of the windshield, uh, the way that the whole car uh, will look as the final model. Jim then showed us the next step. After the construction of every precision component that will eventually be used in the final assembly, they are gathered into what is called a parts diagram. This one for another fabulous model of another legendary classic sports car. And when all the parts come together, we have a magnificent precision model of a 1954 300 SL Mercedes Gullwing. Now let's have some real fun. Let's take a close-up look at some of the spectacular scale models from the craftsmen at the Franklin Mint. Here's that Lamborghini Countach in 124th scale. The engine and interior detailing is really outstanding. This Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost, nearly a century old, was a showstopper at the Concorde d'Elegance at Pebble Beach. The Franklin Mint scale model 1907 Silver Ghost is equally handsome and exacting, right down to the storage boxes located in the running boards. You can see this fabulous 1931 Duesenberg that once belonged to actor Gary Cooper at the Heritage Plantation Museum in Sandwich, Massachusetts. Or you can have this sensational miniature replica of it sitting on your mantelpiece, featuring fully operational doors. This bright yellow 1937 cord is another attraction at the Heritage Museum. Its little brother is the next best thing to the real item, thanks to the Franklin Mint. And it's completely detailed, including inside door handles and window cranks. An original 1935 Auburn 851 Speedster is a priceless automobile to any collector. The Franklin Mint scale replica is a collector's item in its own right. The fully detailed interior and engine compartment are benchmarks of precision. Here are a few more early vintage models. A 1930 Bugatti Napoleon Coupe. A 1935 Mercedes-Benz 770K. And this finely detailed 1928 Stutz Blackhawk Speedster. If you love Corvettes, the Franklin Mint has a bunch of good things in small packages. The 1986 Indy 500 was paced by an 86 vet with an eye scorching yellow paint job. The Franklin Mint has produced a fantastically faithful reproduction. This 1963 split window coupe is the Corvette of choice for a generation of vet lovers. Take a look at this beautiful miniature. And this 1953 Corvette is a genuine trophy winner, but no more so than this one, which stands about 24 times smaller. And if antique fire engines from the roaring 20s like this Aaron's Fox set off your alarm bell, you'll love parking this 1922 Aaron's Fox fire truck right on your desk. The magnificent miniatures of the Franklin Mint. 
Gentlemen, what's your favorite? My favorite car is the 1 to 24 scale 1912 Packard Victoria. My favorite is actually the uh, 1933 Duesenberg J20 Grand Arlington Sedan. What's our favorite? <laughs> well, let's just say we're still trying to decide.